Have you ever wanted to stick your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 anywhere? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that exact thing. Welcome to one of the first of many YouTube videos that I plan on making. This one's going to be more product review centric, but I am a photographer and videographer. So I have a ton of experience and knowledge flying FPV, cameras, editing, and touring. I'm a touring photographer, so I travel all across the US and sometimes different countries. If you like that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the like button as well, because this is going to be the first of many review videos, especially towards products that I love. The first product we're gonna talk about today is for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And this is the magnetic mount that is found on Etsy. And it's probably one of the most life-changing products in the world. And not because I made it, but because it actually gives you the ability to stick your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 anywhere that has metal. Look at this cool mount we have. And if you know, we live in an industrial world. There's metal practically everywhere. In your kitchen, at the gym, on the streets, anywhere. Back in November, I bought the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This camera, I don't think I need to do a review on it. I, I think most people know that it's an amazing camera. It's small and it has a great one inch sensor that can be almost comparable to any of the other mirrorless cameras this like a Sony a7S III. Use this as a reflector. Uh, it, it is small, which is probably one of the best selling features that it has. Um, but the, there's one thing that I thought was missing, and that was having the ability to put this small object anywhere. So that's when I designed this DJI Osmo Pocket 3 magnet mount. There's two different versions, and this is the latest one. This one allows you to use the case that comes with the Osmo Pocket 3, as you can see here. This is great. If you are always on the go, you always need your ND filters or the wide angle lens that, are, that is inside the case. I know a lot of people still use this case. So this new design that I have gives you the ability to protect your DJI Osmo Pocket and carry everything that you need that's inside. So what about the first design? This design here was the very first design that I did. There was a few design iterations along the way. This ended up becoming the final version. You can find this on Etsy as well. The key feature of this one is the fact that it has two cold shoe mounts on it so you can attach your lights or your mics. Uh, your DJI mics can even fit on here. So you're probably wondering how strong is the magnet because you don't wanna be dropping your $500 camera on the ground, worst case scenario on cement. And I will tell you that it is very strong. It is in a cup which allows just for all the strength that the magnet does have to be in one direction. And that's gonna be the direction that this magnet is gonna be pulling onto the metal. I don't know the science behind it, but all I read is that it's very strong. And if you want it to be stronger, there's another option called strong. Basically, when you choose the strong option, you are getting an additional removable magnet on the back right here, just like that. This allows for the magnet to have more contact with the metal that is it's attaching to. I never really use the normal one only because I want to have the most versatility when it comes to where I can mount it. And obviously the more contact that the magnet has with the metal, the stronger it's going to be. And that's why I always recommend getting the strong one. And on that topic, I always recommend getting 3M plates as well. The 3M plates are going to allow you to basically stick that metal plate anywhere that you always film stuff. Like if you know you're filming, your videos in one spot, right by the window where it's always nice, you might as well stick a 3M thing there, attach this and you'll always have a spot to do your videos. What are some use cases when you're using this mount? So I will tell you personally what I've done with the mount um, and some of it I do not recommend because, okay, I'll start with a thing I do not recommend. Because it is a magnet, you can stick it to a car, but, I want you to be very, very careful if you do plan on doing this. It does work, especially if you're like traveling, you're doing a vlog. You can attach it to the side of your car. But if you go straight metal to, or magnet to metal, there's gonna be a high chance that you're gonna scratch your car. To get around that, we had a microfiber cloth and we basically 
sandwiched the microfiber in between the car and the magnet. And that allowed us to be able to move it around and not worry about scratches occurring. Uh, so if you do, stick it to your car, get a microfiber, put it in between. I was actually thinking about making like a, a car version of the magnet that has like a microfiber built into it. Uh, keep an eye out for that. You can follow my store right here. And I think you get updates whenever I post new things, but follow this channel as well because I'll probably post about it in here first. Let's take a closer look at this design right here. This is the compact version of the magnet mount. As you can tell, it's very slim. You can see the lines going across here. And that's actually to help you guide your case onto your Osmo. Basically line it up on the bottom there and just push it in. So much easier. I don't know if any of you have had trouble just putting this on just really fast, but I usually never got it like the first time. Like I'd always like bump it and it would like stick and not actually go in completely. But every time I try now that I have this mount on, easy. I can do it with my eyes closed. Look at this. Nice. So this is how it looks with the case on. I tried to make it look as best as I could with it still being able to allow for that case to slide on. And I think I did a pretty good job. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is freshly designed, by the way. Let me tell you the backstory of this design, actually. Recently, I was recommended a video because I always look up Os Osmo Pocket videos. So of course I got recommended one and she was talking about an accessory that fitness users should be using. And in the video, it was actually this version. She bought this version on Etsy and she loved it enough to make a video. Uh, she said a lot of good things. There's only one thing that she said that I was like, damn, I should have probably made it work that way. And that is the fact that it, this one does not work with the case. When I was designing this mount, I was really focusing on the, the fact that it has the dual cold shoes on it. And I wasn't thinking about usability with what comes with the Osmo Pocket 3 and that being the case. Let me see if the actual, I don't know if the, the case is gonna fit, so we'll see about that. No, but unfortunately I can't have it on the case. Okay. And I kind of felt like I failed, <laughs> even though like everything else she said about it was great, but I was like, I think I can do better. So that was yesterday. And I spent all day yesterday trying to redesign this first version to come up with this one. Both of these mounts also work with the batteries that come with the DJI Osmo, as well as the uh, other little smaller version of this. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it has that quarter inch threading on the bottom. Um, but basically it still works with those items. And the nice thing about these, we'll call them handles. The nice thing about the handles is the fact that when you put them on, this is, the mount isn't gonna come off at all because what you've in, ended up doing is locking it onto the Osmo because it can't get past this bottom piece. That's another added benefit of these mounts as well is that you can put it on and not worry that it's gonna fall off. Even when it is on here and not locked in with one of these handles, it's not going anywhere. Don't recommend doing this, but it's not coming off. This new design, it goes on a little bit differently. You'll notice when you slide it in the first time that it does feel much more loose than when it's on this version here. And that's because it has less plastic to attach to. There's less friction. So what I ended up doing was adding a little tab on the very bottom of this design. So you, all you have to do is slide it in, push it in, and you'll hear a click. And once you hear that click, you know that it's locked in and it's not going anywhere. Let's talk about the benefits. Benefit number one is you do not need a tripod. I would still bring one with you, but think about it this way. When you are traveling, do you always wanna be carrying a tripod with you? No, and if you do, you're crazy. For example, I typically travel as light as I can because I am traveling with a ton of camera gear. I have a tripod with me, but do I wanna set it up all the time? No. So I would much prefer just walking into a location, finding somewhere that is metal and attaching this, boom, to the wall 
or the, or the pole or whatever I'm attaching it to and then start recording whatever I'm trying to record, be it a talking head video or having it follow me around in this location. All right, so Mario's outside filming a time lapse of the stars. That's what I've used it for in the past. Um, but of course, there's so many use cases. Benefit number two, you can mount this in very obscure places that typically you would not be able to do with a tripod. For example, when I was working out at a gym, I put this above me and there was no way I would have been able to do that any other way. I'd have to like tape it or something. So, or have a gorilla pod. What would you rather have, a gorilla pod or something magnetic? Benefits of both, I would carry both. Another nice thing about these, they can sit upright. All right, so there's one more thing that I really wanna talk about, and that is the fact that you can order these with quarter inch threading on the back. Both versions of the mounts have the quarter inch threading on it. This is gonna allow you to attach like a friction arm or other accessories if you really wanted to put it on here. The main purpose of this is actually to attach it with a friction arm and then attach it to anywhere else. So you're not just limited to this magnet. All right, so to wrap up this video, if you do like these products, uh, I, I did make these again. So if you do purchase these, it really goes a long way and it does help me continue to make products just like this. And again, if you do have ideas to make the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 better, Feel free to leave them in the comments because I always take feedback from anyone and if they have good ideas, I will implement them. Not to go off track, but this was actually an idea that a customer on my Etsy came up with. They were like, hey, why don't you put the mount on the front? And I was like, hey, that's a great idea. So I did it. And this is one of the first videos of many videos that I'm going to make. This is not a new channel. It is new that I'm going to start making more content for it. Um, the content that I plan on making is going to be focused heavily around media, content creation, cameras, drones, FPV, and touring life. I am a touring photographer, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to vlog as much as I can on those because it is such a unique aspect of my life and I, 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 love, I would love to share it. So please follow along hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and comments, whatever you want, because all of those things really help the algorithm and help this video get seen by the people that need to see it. So thank you. Oh, before I go, I wanted to tease, the next video I might do will be on this product right here. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Grip Rig. I'll just give you a little tease. It's using the GoPro mounts that I made just slide it in place and just like that we have a much more steady osmo pocket 3. all right thank you for watching and hopefully i see you on the next one